Hola everyone, my name is Aurora and this is our final video for our Vamos Backpacking series in partnership with Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District. And today I'm going to be putting all of my gear into my backpack. So I've laid out my sleeping bag, my sleeping pad, my tent, my clothes, my toiletries, my cooking systems, all of my food, and now I'm getting ready to put it into my backpack. So this is a backpack that I use. This one I bought specifically, specifically for my body type and my size, uh, so it fits my torso perfectly already. If you're looking into renting or borrowing gear, there are some adjustable backpacks and those are really nice just so that it can fit your torso the best. Um, I definitely recommend, you know, checking different types out. Uh, you can go and get fitted so that it fits you perfectly. I already put in my bladder in there because it's easier to put it in at first because then if my backpack's already stuffed, it's really hard to get in there. But besides my bladder, the first thing that I put in there is my sleeping bag. I make sure to put this all the way in the bottom. Some people I have seen actually take out their sleeping bag from the little compression sack and just put it at the bottom of their backpack to try to fill in all of those empty holes that might be created. But I just put it in there like that. If I was camping at a different site where I might need some sort of bear can or bear bin, I would put that in next into my backpack. Usually you wanna have your heavy, heaviest item right in the center uh, to kind of just even out the load. Uh, but because I know that there are food storage lockers at Black Mountain, I'm not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna put in my tent. So I'm gonna put in my tent next. And if you're hiking with a group of friends or your partner, it's kind of nice to then try to even out the loads. One person can take the poles, the other person could take the footprint and that just distributes the weight a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna just pack it all in there for me now. And I wanna make sure that while I'm putting it in here, I'm putting it in a way that it's not gonna allow it to move back and forth while I'm hiking. I want it to be as balanced as possible so that when I'm on the trail, it's a little bit more comfortable for me. And as I'm doing this, I can see that there are already some spots where some holes might be uh, being created. So I'm gonna add in a bunch of clothes and my socks and all of my extra layers to try to help prevent my tent from moving back and forth. And so really now I just have a bunch of little things that can go into my backpack and they are totally gonna fit. I'm of course gonna take my Latino Outdoors flag because you know, we gotta carry that everywhere we go. Uh, my games, cause I couldn't just choose one. So I'm gonna take a couple. Um, my toiletries can go in here as well. I'm also gonna take a bag and in this bag I have my food, I have my water filtration system. I have a bunch of little things that I just didn't want loose into in my backpack so I put it in this bag. Um, I'm also gonna make sure that I carry what I consider to be really important items at the top of my bag. So an extra layer and some snacks so that while I'm on the trail, if I need easy access to them, I can get them a little bit easier instead of them being all the way at the bottom of my backpack. So then once I start to like fill in empty spaces, you wanna make sure that it's as balanced as possible in here. Um, I'm going to consider my charger and my medical kit a priority. So I'm gonna actually put that at the pocket at the top of my um, backpack because I want to make sure that if an emergency did happen, I would have easy access to that. And my water filtration system, just in case. All right, so then I can start closing that up. I make sure to tighten all of these clips so that my backpack can be nice and snug and compacted. On the outside of my backpack, I will carry on the side pockets. I can go ahead and add in my water bottles. I'm also gonna put in my sandals because I know that the first thing I'm gonna wanna do when I get to my campsite is take my shoes off. So I have that in there, I have that clipped in. Put my other water bottle. And I feel like as I move it around, it doesn't feel like a lot of things are shaking in there and that's really good, that's what I want. 
And then on the outside of my backpack, I can clip in my sleeping pad. This is another spot where people might put their tent or their sleeping bag. Uh, but for now, the sleeping pad just, just works best for me. And then once I'm ready to put my backpack on to help prevent any injury from your back, you can place it on your knee first and then swivel it, switch it over. And you wanna make sure that you concentrate all of the weight on your hips. Uh, you wanna make sure that your backpack sits comfortably on there. I have some little side pockets here where I like to put my phone, some extra snacks, just so that I have easy access to on the trail. And so I also clip in my straps and then I have this little magnet here for my little bladder straw. And so now again, I do another quick little check, make sure everything feels comfortable. And you know, if you're, hike, if you're a mile into your hike and you feel like you need to adjust, definitely take the time to rest and adjust and make sure that you're comfortable on the way there. So I'm all ready to go and I'm really excited to see you all at our upcoming backpacking trips. Thank you all for tuning in.